Hello everyone, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is going to be an interesting video because we're going to be trying some new items for new to me and so I'm exploring. But at the same time, this is an important makeup because, uh, you know, I've been promising you guys the foundation videos and I have tried many times to do a video where I get all made up then to talk about foundations. And for some reason or another, I get interrupted. So this is another try. I'm gonna do a very simple, but try these new items and then uh, do the infamous <laughs> foundation video. So for that reason, I am gonna be trying two foundations, one on each side, some of my favorites. So that would let you know a lot. And then the new items will be this. Cheek Stars from Benefit. The reason I ordered this specifically was because I heard from my YouTuber, I think her name is Allie, which I'm gonna start writing down who I refer, but she really recommended this highlight uh, for light skin, it's called Cookie. So I really ordered this full size thing because it was almost the same price as the full highlighter by itself. So I figured why not try all the colors. Uh, of course, it's Benefit. Uh, I haven't been a big one. I know they have several items, you know, they come in a smaller box when they're individual. And they've been a favorite for many, uh, many people. The shades itself never really went with my skin tone. And as I grew older, uh, you know, I started trying more luxury makeup and I just prefer it. But I know uh, youngsters in their 20s and their 30s benefit these are, and some of their favorites, you know, there's some shades that it's just been very popular. So I was willing to give it a try again, especially for that one. And so we're gonna be trying that. I also receive a sample of the Rare Beauty Concealer. You know, I'm not a very big concealer, but I did try a Rare Beauty Primer for the eyes and I really like it. Um, and of course her eye liquid eyeliner, which I have spoken enough in my, in my channel. Actually, I'm out of at this moment, I finish it up and that's very rare for me, but I really like that her uh, liquid liner matte. I think it's wonderful, so easy to apply. Uh, so I decided to try this and why not try it on camera? Uh, and then of course, I'm gonna do a little gold subtle look. So I'm gonna be using some Pat McGrath highlight and some other goodies. I might put Fenty in, I'm not very sure because this will be the look that I will have in the foundation descriptions of my favorite or what I think of them. So in any who, let's begin. So as you're aware, um, skincare is very important. I mean, I'm not big on skincare, but whatever you put before uh, makeup is huge, I hear. And I'm not good at it, I'm not disciplined enough, but I'm just saying it in case you wanna look special for a special occasion or whatever, you know, usually having a mask, you know, exfoliating mask, doing a good cleansing, and then really uh, put the right moisturizing, serum moisturizer, I mean toner, serum moisturizer. And then of course, um, uh, a nice, and please watch my video if you haven't, which I think is a must for a nice makeup look. Any, daily, casual, luxury, special, any, is the illuminator and primer that you use underneath. A lot of people skip that. Some people say it's no big difference. In my case, I think it's huge. Either to look radiant, to look nice, to look uh, glowy, to depending on what you want. Uh, and long lasting, I mean, there's plenty of benefits. Uh, when I first started, it was more for SPF, because I don't like the suntan lotions. They irritate my skin, I, I, they're itchy, I can't stand them. So, but there's some primers that do have it, like uh, there's a primer, um, this one, Dior Skin Forever. This one I started using because it has SPF 20. This is a uh, base the tint, use it as a primer, very long lasting. Well, uh, look at my video if you wanna hear more about that, but I am big on that. So what I have right now in the morning, I did use because as you know, if you've been following me, um, if not, welcome. Oh, and if you're not and you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and ring the bell on the right hand corner. Okay, that was a, a, a fast interruption in commercial. 
<laughs> get back to what we were and I hope I didn't lose it, the train of thought. So uh, what I've been wearing and trying now for over 20 days is the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Skincare. So I use a serum, let me show you the serum. I don't use a toner at this moment. Yeah, bet on me. Here I am saying that you should and then I don't, right? Well, I didn't and I haven't in a while. I'll go back to it. Yeah, I think toner is important, especially after 48. Before then, I didn't think it didn't match. After 48, I think it's around 48. I think it's a must. Of course, I think it's a must and I don't use it. Okay. All right. I will get back to it. I will get back to it. It makes a difference. It does. All right, so I used the serum from Victoria Beckham, and then I did use, I have this sample, and I've tried it before. I didn't think it was a big deal, but because I was trying these two items um, and it was drying my skin, I started experimenting with a moisturizer in between these two because this is supposed to be a protector, illuminator, and, uh, and primer. And so this is a serum. So I started putting a cream in the middle. And there are a few that I like, I don't like, etc. I was still playing with it. But I got this at um, Sephora. They had it for 100 points, and I did have points. It's just very small, but it's the cream. And this is the cream from Augustine Bader. Now, Augustine Bader is the one Victoria Vecchen kind of partnered up to create this too. He's supposed to be, you know, awesome in the cell rejuvenating, the new the most futuristic whatever you know chemist in i think switzerland or um, germany somewhere in europe i'm sorry my memory doesn't serve me and i i used to know it but i forgot and anywho so see this one says victoria beckon by Augustine bader you see that well Augustine bader has his own line and uh the the one that is bestseller everybody dreams about is the cream that's what it's called I tried it before, I didn't think it was a big deal, but now I included it in this regimen because I thought it will go and I do see a difference. I'm actually enjoying it, right? It does actually makes a difference. So um, maybe that's what I need to do, except it's very expensive. So I might not. <laughs> I might continue other skincares that are a little more affordable. Anywho, so I placed that in the morning and I didn't apply any makeup, but a couple of hours last because I had to clean up and do some other um, errands. And so now to file, to film, and because I wanted to be faithful to one of the things I actually enjoy using, I put a little bit of the Bobbi Brown Extra uh, Bare Glow. Now, uh, this one was sent to me as a sample and I liked it so much that I bought the full size and that is rare So that means I really liked it and I really been enjoying it except I had to try the Victoria Beckham and other things So I haven't really been wearing it even though this is what I like So today I decided I will put it on top. The other one was way gone. Who knows? So I applied it and if you see uh, about my primers and illuminator video, you see that I find these things make a huge difference in now the foundation and the rest of the steps. So I apply this. Now this one is not as illuminating. I wouldn't say glowy because this is not glowy. I mean, you see, I think my skin looks healthy. Of course, it looks pale because I'm very pale <laughs> and I have had nothing i have bare skin which by the way i usually don't like to greet you like this i totally forgot about that part hmm all right well now i remember now i'm here okay we should speed up to apply the items but what i was saying is uh this one just gives a little nice natural healthy and then i apply makeup i don't leave just this i mean i need a little blush a little bronzing something 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 but uh, if I wanted just a tiny bit more illumination here, I would have applied the Lara Mercier uh, Primer Radiance. And you can see all of that on my video, but I'm just saying how I get to logic of, uh, of what I actually apply from the brains. Um, and lately, you know, I would have used a little bit of Lisa Eldridge if I was gonna do a little more up look or whatever, but look at that video for that part. Okay, now, the next step, now you know what I have on. 
The next step, I want you to apply half of my face with one foundation, half of my face with the other foundation. And I just wanted to see what happens, right? I mean, um, let's see if it really makes a difference once I finish with the whole look. And, and then of course, I'm gonna be filming my foundation and I'll be able to showcase uh, after many hours. You see me looking everywhere because I'm trying to remember where my, okay, here it is, my foundation brush is. All right, good. So should we begin? Now I'm nervous and I'm questioning if I should do half and half, but yeah, I think, right? I mean, let's say that they're both very different colors because the two foundations I'm gonna wear is the uh, the Dew Drop Foundation, Surat, and the La Mer Liquid Foundation. Now these two have been favorites in, in amongst YouTubers. Uh, one of the reasons I bought them a while back, I've been using it for a while, um, and so that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing. They're also one of my favorites for very different occasions and very different reasons. Uh, but in this mix, I would add the, the Dior Forever because Dior, Dior Forever will be kind of in the middle. Like this, I use more for daily wear, just meeting somebody, you know, social every day. Uh, but where I do have an event or a meeting or something, this one. And then this one is when I'm gonna do a full makeup look. I mean, it could be a more important meeting or something, which is very rare for me. I usually will go this, but something in the middle will be the forever. Uh, so sometimes I would choose the forever Dior versus La Mer, because La Mer to me is the, the look. I mean, the one that I'll go, but I will talk about all my foundations or the ones even that I have tried and I like or not like and why on the other video. So let's start with this. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is these are two very different colors. Um, and not because I want to, I mean, I, will, I always choose as close as my skin color, but depending on the brand um, is the color foundation that you get and you just try to match it as close as your skin as possible. So right now, okay, so I'm putting, see this one is much more yellowish. Look at that hole, you can really see the difference in my skin and I might put too much, but that's okay. Cause the good news is that it blends. And I put too much because this is the amount that I would have chose to put on all my face, right? Cause it's one pump and it's way enough. But, um, you can see how easy it blends and it absorbs and so at the end it really didn't matter that i put that much and it does become a little skin like that's one thing that i like about my foundations i don't have foundations that just look like a big white canvas one color um my style of makeup is that you always look natural but enhanced <laughs> So I don't mind that some of the purple shows, I don't mind that, you know, I don't look like completely blurred. And so that that is just a matter of taste because I like either or, I mean, I've seen people that do the other way and I love it, um, but that's just my preference. And probably because of my age, because when I was younger, I could pull off more of that beautiful, velvety looking youth. <laughs> Um, I could pull it out easier, probably with the same foundations that I will be talking about. Uh, but at my age, it will be a little harder to do and I just don't want to spend the time or the effort. So, other side, I'm putting the, you see already, very different color, right? This is a lot more neutral. Oh, let me clean the brush real quick. Should have brought the other brush because I have another one that it will be clean, but here. All right, it's clean, it's clean, it's clean. So you can tell already that the color is very, very different. The other one had very yellowish in it. And yes, uh, I never ha uh, was able to match perfectly my skin on the La Mer. 
So you can see it's a little yellowish, right? But it's also true that one of the reasons I like the the dewdrop foundation for mostly like a daily normal wear is that precisely has a little more cool tone than my skin. So it is not ex uh, exact match either. Excuse my dog. Yes, if you're with me already, you know that that happens often. <laughs> At least it's not behind the door that's a lot uh, stronger. And if you're new to me, he's not alone. He's downstairs, there's people downstairs. All right, one of these days, I'm gonna let him come in and just destroy us as I'm speaking to you. Like he's not, he's gentle, he's gentle. But you know, if he comes in and visits, he wants my attention. He's not just for, for the fun of it. All right, so, um, do drop and the mirror. Now, other than the color, which is obvious to me, this is cooler, more of my liking for every day, things like that. And this one is a little warmer. I mean, can you see? Uh -huh. All right. Warmer, cooler. Now this size has a little more glowing. You see that radiance? And this one, I wouldn't say in mate, matte, no, but healthy, it's just, it's warmer. And so we'll see at the end if it really makes a difference, but I just wanted you to see, I mean, look at this, this is radiant more. That's why this one for day and, and, uh, and this one also works very well for camera photos, video. So you always look a little better. Um, and, I, and I'll talk about that also on, on the foundations. All right, so um, we accomplished that part, which I am very happy with. I'm very happy with it, not only because I, I think it looks great, but because I do feel it translate in, in the video, what I wanted, the difference in colors, the difference in, in what it does to your face. All right, so this is the new product for me. It's called Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer by Rare Beauty. And just looking at the colors, I probably are this one. This is too yellow for me. And obviously these are not gonna work. This one is a very, very more creamy light. I mean, this one reminds me is uh, more for rosier skin colors or cooler or lighter. Uh, this one has a little yellow undertone. That part is important to me. But the yellow undertone um, sometimes might be a little dark to me. So, you know, I can go lighter or I can go cooler because that lightens up your eye. Um, so I don't know, we can try one and one. I don't know, this is 180 warm and the other one is 160 cool. Yeah, of course, one is cooler. So I don't know because the warm might be too warm for me and, and because it's a concealer that is a big deal. But let's, let's try just a tiny little bit. And you know that I am not big on concealers. I use my correctors. I, I, well, it's not true. I do have a very favorite concealer, which is the Clay de Peau. I use that one. I have other concealers. Maybe I'll do a, <laughs> a video of concealers as well. I think that's important. But so right now I'm using the 180 Warm. And I'm gonna use it in the yellow warmer side, just to see. Well, there's without. I don't want to put too much. I just want to cover. I put the tiniest, tiniest thing, guys. Wow, this is a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm doing the old fashioned, right? When they used to do the, never worked for me, but. Wow, I like it. You see how it immediately absorbed? Like I put it and then I didn't really have to do much. And I'm just pressing it in sort of thing. Oh, I love it. Ooh, and I put, I mean, I took a finger and look, it's still all of it there. So, I mean, I, I took like a, a dot. Let's do a, not even, you see that? Look, I still have most of it. But let's. Ooh, 
And if you notice what I do with the concealer is obviously here, but then I bring it up inner, like in here. And then of course I always bring it sort of around just on the asker, askers. And then of course you can, this is so much, put a little bit, you see how I have a little bit of shading there? And so I just, this in on application feels creamy and then it starts drying very, very fast, which is a nice, um, wow. Oh my God, guys. Wow. Let's see if I put just a tiny bit here. I'm telling you, this rare beauty is almost like she's coming out with new technology or something because her makeup feels different. I, and I have a video on on Rare Beauty. You can watch it. Um, now, I did not love her eyeshadows. They're very nice colors and, and they they seem very trendy or futuristic with Adriana, Adriana Grande and, and Fenty. Very, very young, trendy uh, looks. Um, so I do like it, but again, the eyeshadows, maybe I need to try or play a little bit more, but it's not something I, I look or want to wear. So maybe not, but certain items like her eyeshadow primer, love. And now the concealer, I mean, guys, let me see. Have you guys seen that YouTube video? It says, guys, 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 a little boy saying that. Wow. I like it. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel creasing. It goes with both sides. Now, before we continue, because now we're going to start applying the makeup, the palette, the big cheek stars that I want to try on. Um, but I want you to see the foundations. I'm feeling as this is setting, is oxidizing a tiny bit. And it is doing what? I don't know. But look at the radiance on this. This seems perfect like I just applied. And then look at this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put it down. This is something I will wear for a more mature look or more complex look. But do you see what I mean? What would you call that? This is, okay, well, maybe, let's, let's finish it off. Let's see what it does. Let me see how it looks live. Yeah, I, I like the dew drop, which is this side. It just blurs all kind of my wrinkles. Um, this one, it looks like I have makeup on. Lightly, lightly, very lightly, lightly. This one, I don't think you could tell. I mean, I don't think a male could tell. Maybe us females, we can say, yeah, of course she has something. But it's so natural, so natural. That's why this is my favorite. It's always been my favorite. It will continue to be my favorite. And it is some of YouTubers' favorites too. All right, so let's try this baby. Cheese starts. And I hope it works because, um, Oh, I am so tempted. I really want to put some of this highlight, but I can't put it on both sides because I want to put one line and one other. But I want to put it on both sides. Oh, oh, all right, I'll resist. I'll resist. Because, see, I want to put that gold. I just want to put that some of that gold. All right, but I can't because this is gold. This highlighter, which is the showcase, look at that one. We need to try that one. All right, fine, fine. So what what should I use? What brush should I use? All right, I'm gonna use, to begin with, this brush, which is by uh, Wayne Goss, and it's called Universal. This one was a limited edition. I don't know if he'll bring it back. I hope he does, because it is universal, like he called it, right? It's used for everything. And in the meantime, I'm gonna apply just a little tiny, I got this, 
because I can't stand me being bare totally. So before I apply, I mean, now I say it, right? Caught it almost in the middle of the video. <laughs> but I can't keep looking at myself like this. So I need to get inspired. So I got this sample of this YSL. Uh, YSL small little thing. And it, it, this is, what color is this? 70. 70. I don't know what color 70 is. I wish they would tell me the color. Well, I'll try to look it up. The words are too, too small. Roche pour contour. But it doesn't say. It just says 70. All right. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit, okay? Just to give me a little bit of color. Okay. Thank you. Because once you put the foundation on, oh my God, that's like a, you know, why am I scared of saying like a dead body? It looks like a dead body. I feel so scared, like delicate, like, like, ooh. I mean, because have you ever seen a dead body? And have you seen one recently? Will that bring some emotions up? You know, I, I don't know, I felt sensitivity by saying just the word. Yeah, I look like a dead body, you know? Isn't that sad? We shouldn't see, we shouldn't feel dead like that. Maybe I'm the only one that feels dead like that. I mean, speak for yourself, right? <laughs> All right. Well, it seems here that there is, okay, this one has shimmer or illuminating. This one obviously is a highlight. Then we have two bronzers. This one is darker, you see, darker. This one has more peach. Darker, lighter. And then of course this one that I guess you play with it for blush. So I'm gonna start with the lightest, it's called Dallas. That is the lightest blush. And I'm doing it lightly because I have no idea what it's gonna do. So far, I love it. Put it on the other side. And I'm doing it because I was gonna try the other one on the other side so you can see it. But because we have two foundations, I wanna see if it makes a difference which foundation are we wearing, right? And it does make a little difference because this one was a cooler foundation and now I'm putting this so it makes more striking. And then this one obviously looks nice because it's in the warmer side, but it has a, a little different look. Can you see? All right, so I like it so far. Works for my skin color. Very nicely, very lightly. I'm gonna put a little bit in here to try to improve my crease. And I try to do it vertical. See, I'm trying to elongate. And as doing this, I'm hoping that some color will drop in the whole crease, but I don't do down because that's a no, 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 especially for hoodie eye. No, 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 never down, never, never down. It's vertical. You want to kind of pull it out this way. Okay. Very light, very nice. Let's put a little bit on the sides of the nose. Little bit up here. Very nice. Look at the difference. It does make a difference, the foundation. All right, so now let's go with the next darker, um, um, what is it? Bronzer. I wouldn't call it, a, a, you know, something to contour because it, it has a little bit red, although you can be a little neutral, talking about this color. Um, but it's still a bronzer to me, Hula, a lot darker. So I will be a little more careful. So now I'm gonna take the Wayne Goss, and what is this called? Oh my God, the one or something like that. I will put the name of it, I always forget. It's a lot smaller. I wanna show you, Universal and the one. But because this is a lot darker, I don't wanna just do it all over. I'll try to just contour a little bit. All right, so that color is redder, which is nice, but I don't know if you if you can tell the difference. Um, 
sometimes you're in the mood for red and the other one I like because it was just shading. Um, so the Dallas is a lot more neutral and now the Hula, um, it could be a very nice look with the Hula, but it does bring some redness to it. And, and so you can tell that I am bronzing. The other one was just enough to frame the face and this one, it is a bronzing look. I mean, can you tell the difference? And um, can you tell the difference between the two foundations? All right. Now, next, we're going to do some blush. So it's called Sugar Bomb, and it seems like four colors, so that's a little confusing to me. I'm going to keep the brush in the bottom uh, because I like that yellowish in there, although I don't know what it does. I don't know. No, I'm just going to swirl. I swirl. Okay, I swirl. There's enough product. And we're going to start with, you see, this part. Oh, yeah. So it's applying a little more PT than I thought. I thought it was going to be more pink. But no, it's a little more PT. Okay. I try to apply a lighter on this side because I thought this was a little too much and I don't want so much blotch so in the front. So I apologize when I said, oh, all the way, no. So I'm using my, my foundation brush. Just to, there you go. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and last but not least, so we have the two highlighters, and you saw, obviously, this one is more like blush highlight, and this is more highlight highlight. So we're gonna apply, do I have a smaller, yeah. I'm gonna apply with this one, the Georgia, which is the peachy highlight blush. I just wanna see, You see that? Oh my God, this made it so pretty. You know, all of these are so individual. I am so happy they put them together because I agree that they work very nicely together, right? That one has a little more illuminating. So you put the blush and then the illumination part of thing. But of course, now I'm gonna try this one and I probably will use both and we'll equalize those size, but I want you to see just the cookie, which is one of the reasons I got this palette. Have I repeated that enough times? Uh, because this YouTuber, I think her name is Allie, beautiful girl. She's a makeup artist. Uh, said that this highlighter for light skin is gorgeous. And do I agree? Ding, 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 ding. I'm gonna make this game. I'm gonna mention products that I get because of other YouTubers and I'm gonna say if I agree or disagree. And do I agree or disagree? Can you see? I agree, I approve. Ali, I hope I'm saying her name right. I'm gonna look it up so I can write it down underneath. She has a lot of subscribers. Um, I agree with her. Never tried this highlighter. I like it. Now, I probably will do a video on all my highlighters. I have a full door of highlighters, so I can, I will be um, comparing and swatching with so many different, and I will tell you the difference on this because I don't want to make this longer than it is, and I want to do, now I'm putting on the other side, and I want to do the foundation video right after this. All right. So this one has the peachy illuminator on the bottom and this one doesn't. Which one do we like better? Hmm. It's a different look. Cause this one is a little more um, 
casual and has a little more color in my cheek. And this one is a little more elegant, subdued, you know, for a night out, I will probably just leave it more striking like this where there's a, the highlight and then accentuate more the contour. So it just looks more striking. But for today's purposes, since I already mixed it, I will add this here. And now you see the with or without, you know, I have to agree with Ellie. I like it. Oh yeah. So I'm mixing both the Georgia and the cookie. And now I'm going to grab with my finger, the cookie, which is the highlight. I'm going to just apply a little bit. I don't remember if she says to do this or not, but Probably she does. All right. So very, very lovely. I'm very impressed in what sense that this palette has everything, really. You can travel with this and look, just create your full look out of that out of it. It has and you and you have some versat versatility. And you know when people are talking about Oh, your basics, your basics. You know, everybody has a basic crease color, you know, and every one when you're creating a full look and they're like, oh, you just get a neutral <laughs> crease color and all of that, which is funny because all YouTubers say it. And I always was like, I don't own that. Yeah, you have so many. I don't know one that I say, oh, I need a crease color and I pull that one out, you know, sort of thing. And And don't get me wrong, I try like, I keep adding some Dallas and contour um, and a little bit of highlight on the top. Um, so I did try and I'll show you, for example, I did have, I know this is an extra, but like I got the Marc Jacobs, like one color, you see, but it never worked out as delicious, as delicious. I mean, of course it works. And people say, oh, it's just, but to me, I notice certain subtleness. I notice if it's exactly, I mean, my husband, the average person will not, but I notice. So look at the difference in color between those two. Look at the difference in color between those two. I mean, right? This one has a little more pinkish to it. And I have another one, Makeup Forever which I created this palette precisely for that reason. And I got that color precisely for that reason. And um, you see, this one is a little more lighter, but this one has peach, more peachy tone in it. Once you put it in your eye, you can see. And I have many others, but the point I wanted to make, because this was not about the crease shades, which that's another video. I'm telling you, every time I'm with you, I, I make all these promises or these ideas of videos I can make. Because <laughs> I think they were important. They were important to me. So, you know, sharing that. But the point I always wanted to make is that these two colors, this one and this one, are perfect for that kind of idea of the crease color. And then, of course, this, look how it created the lid. So imagine how versatile it is. And um, the last but not least, I guess I could put a little bit, oh, no, I don't want to try that because I got a new liquid eyeliner, but I'm going to try that in another look with Pat McGrath. I never have tried this liquid eyeliner. I'm very curious. That will be uh, in a video is coming up about Pat McGrath goals. I want to try her goals, all her goals. So I'll do that tomorrow or after because I want to put it before Christmas in case you want to use goals for the 24th, the 25th or whatever. Or maybe, yeah, I guess I have time because you can use it for New Year's. Okay, now you're hearing my thought process. <laughs> All right. So should we finish the look? Yes. So I need a, now I'm thinking, you know, I don't know if you heard me in the other video. I said that I just ordered the eyeliners from Victoria Beckham. And now I wish they had arrived. They're already shipped, but they haven't arrived. So I am going to hmm, use, the reality is I should use some 
um, brown, but I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Dual. This is the Exaggerated Eye, and this is sort of black uh, and cream champagne, you see that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit. Okay, this is another trick, I'm showing you tricks. You see this? You put it right here and out. You just make a line there. Can you see it? Barely can see, but the most important is when you put the, the, lip, the liner there and then the liner there. And then, um, um, now you can eye line. All right, I am back. So I finished up the eyeliner with the dual. I added some uh, Benefit, uh, what is it called? Roller Lash Mascara, that if you notice is one of my favorites down below. Uh, and I just thought it was perfect. Benefit with Benefit, right? <laughs> uh, I did put some Tom 4 gel on my eyebrows, which I know they're reformulating that formula so I'm praying because that is my favorite and that's what I wear and now you can't find it anywhere because what I hear and I might not be right is that they're coming with a new formula improved so I hope it's better than this but this one was perfect and I hope they don't mess it up because <laughs> I'll have to look for another one but I love this one so I added that that's all I did and now I'm gonna apply a little bit of lipstick to finalize the look. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Coachella Coral. And I'm using this one because obviously I have a very bright pink. And, and you know I already applied the, the YSL, which uh, I can read the name, but I'll give you the number. So it seems that this one is just uh, a little more than that one. Well, a lot more, <laughs> right? I mean, I just love it. It just brings up the whole look and it brights out my complexion. And so let's finalize with, this is the um, La Mer foundation, warmer. This is what I would use more for a more elegant look, a more formal look. Uh, it has medium coverage, but, and then you have this, the Dew Drop foundation. You can see it's a little lighter coverage per se, but it looks a little more radiant in my opinion. But it looks more casual. That's that's what I think. What do you guys think? And I didn't use any powder to set it up. I didn't include my mit meteorites, which I usually finalize the whole look with. Why not? Because I, I like it like this. Um, but in a more formal setting, if I finalize the whole look, I probably would add it to this side and so look how beautiful this side looks it looks a lot more formal i think I'm repeating myself but and this one is a little more casual but looks beautiful and radiant uh, i could wear this in a more formal of course but i think it just looks a less um you know more natural and so i would like to be more finished that would be my d so thank you very much for watching this is the final look uh, this is the time that I ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to my channel, pass up the voice about my uh, videos if you like, I'm trying to grow uh, the channel. So, of course, making my videos a little shorter might be it, but please comment below, request, suggest. Uh, I really appreciate all your comments, it's been so nice. And oh my God, congratulations. We got the 300 subscriptions, yay. I will be doing, uh, what do you call those? Um, you know, not ruffles, but uh, a giveaway, a giveaway. Ay, me and my words. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Please, happy holidays. I hope you're enjoying yourself or I'm hoping you're coming to hide from the family watching videos. At least that's what I used to do <laughs> or still do. Thank you very much. See you later, alligator. Bye.